Right, hello, welcome. Today we're going to be taking off some cranks and we're going to go through the video of basically how to take the cranks off, starting with pedals and going through all the tools of how we're going to actually do that. So first, we're going to take the pedals off and with the aid of video magic, they're going to disappear. And there we go, pedals are off. Then what we need next is a 8mm Allen key and we'll remove the crank bolts. These just screw out nicely like that. Obviously you'll have to do both sides, but I'll do one side just to demonstrate. Right, what you're going to need to actually take the cranks off is a crank extractor. There's lots of, loads of different types of these, but the one we sell on our website is a crank extractor multifunction. This does both ISIS and cordless cranks. Today we're going to be doing ISIS cranks, but like we say, this does both. So, do ISIS, you need to just wind the little thing out. And that threads into the crank like that. You have to make sure um, when you're doing this that the crank extractor is tight. So take one spanner and just give that a little nipple. You don't need to go massively over the top with that one. Then back with the arm key, wind that in, and the crank should slowly come off, just like that. Take the crank extractor back out of the crank, like so, and then you've got your crank and your crank extractor. Right, now we've got the cranks off, and obviously if you're taking cranks off you're either going to be swapping them or doing some maintenance, you need to put them back on. One, the first thing to remember when you're putting them back on is you have to put them on the right side. Um, these Venture 2's that I've got here are marked left and right on the front of the crank next to the size but a lot of other cranks are marked on the back obviously left side of the unicycle right first thing you want um, with ISIS cutlass this doesn't really matter with ISIS you need to have a spacer the spacer goes on first before the crank when you put the crank on when you've just pushed that crank on the gap between the spacer as you can see here needs to be approximately three mil if you've got a bigger gap you need a bigger spacer so get the right spacer to match your cranks when you, before you put that crank on as well you want to grease inside the crank because this is my unicycle they've already been greased that on there like that and then it's basically a reversal of how you took it off bolt back in put that back in and give that a nipple you're going to want to tighten that a lot more than what that is I'd put the unicycle on the floor and give that a nipple, but don't go crazy with that. And, that's and there we go, my unicycle's back together. And again, with the aid of video magic, my pedals are back on. Uh, I hope that this tutorial's been helpful. If you've got any questions, please email us uh, and keep a check on the YouTube channel for more of these videos. Thank you very much.